What's up guys? Welcome to another Tuesday evening drive. Hope your Tuesday went well, whether it was school, work, whatever it may be. Hope it was a good one. Work was pretty good for me today. Not too bad. Uh-oh. Wait a second. I'm looking at my seatbelt. I know you guys don't like it twisted. I think that's... See, the thing is, my seatbelt, I can't get it like perfectly flat from the thing. So I think this is the better of two evils. But if I just, whoops, if I just go like this, yeah, that'll make it look better. Some of you know there's a little, there's a little twist down here. Just don't think about it. Don't think about it. But anyway, guys, welcome to Tuesday Evening Drive. And, um, not too much to talk about to start off, just, you know, giving you guys a recap. Of course, I'm doing the, the streaming every Saturday. That seems to be what most of my time has been going towards lately. Last week, I did a four and a half hour stream with a dual get, and we finished the automated diamond maker on Feed the Beast. And he was coaching me through it. We got it. And oh, baby, I can't wait to just dive into those diamonds but you know I've been I've been going through editing the footage and putting it up on YouTube so you know that takes a lot of time so that's been taking up most of my time but uh, I just recorded a video last night talking about my plans for the Hermitcraft server there's been a lot of questions people ask some questions today we'll go over that but um, my bottom line, I'm not like stopping anything. I'm not really changing anything. Um, man, this seems more bumpy than normal. Sorry about that, guys. Let's see if I, yeah. Let's see if I can stabilize this more. No, can't. <laughs> Michigan roads, that's all I can tell you. They're not very smooth. But anyway, guys, let's just get flat out get into the questions. So, we'll start it out with, Vor I don't know, Vortex Alicia, or Alicia, or Alicia. I don't know, because I was calling her Vortex Alicia, which is how we pronounce it in the U.S. If you got A-L-I-C-I-A, that's Alicia in the U.S., but apparently it's wrong. But... She wants to know, she wants me to talk about how I can't pronounce names right. Hey, let me tell you something. I pronounce names right, just not yours. Oh man, are my eyes dry? Oh no, there's poor dead deer on the road. <sighs> but yeah, I'm so sorry I pronounced your name wrong. Please teach me. I guess I pronounced um, Ellie Beatmaker's name wrong too, but he seems pretty flexible. It sounds like he doesn't mind Eli or Ellie. So, um, yeah, there's two people. Tough names. But, anyway, um, check out Vortex Alicia. I think that might be how you say it. On Twitch. Because she's been streaming an hour before my streams. And, yeah, she's a fun person. So, check it out. Next question was from Bailey, who wants me to talk about if I'm going to be putting any other video games outside of Minecraft on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, that's a tough one, because I tried doing that in the past, and I ran into copyright issues, and projections as far as, you know, being able to put, you know, allow ads on the videos, that kind of thing. And I don't want to put up content that risks my channel getting a strike on it. So, you know, with Minecraft, Notch specifically says, or at least Mojang, in their terms, that it's okay for people to put their videos on YouTube. So because of that, no problem. But a lot of other companies don't put that in their terms. And 
you know, some people can get away with it, some people not so much. So I don't really want to put my channel at risk to put up some different games. And especially if it's not going to get, you know, if people aren't going to be watching it as, as much as Minecraft stuff. Because the thing that people seem to watch the most is Hermitcraft, Hermitcraft Feed the Beast. And if I put anything else up, uh, I get many less views. So that just shows me that people aren't very interested. But I just did a little test recording with my brother playing some Black Ops 2. And I know a lot of people request us play together. So his recording, it was his first test recording and the audio did not work. So I think my audio works, so I'm gonna go through the footage to see if I can make something out of it. And I'm gonna try to put up that Black Ops 2 footage and see if I run into any problems. So as far as right now, Minecraft is gonna be the main thing I put up on my channel. And if there's another game that is just so much fun playing that I have to put up, I'll give that a try too. We'll just keep trying. We'll keep trying. Because, uh, you know, I like other games other than Minecraft too. So we'll see. Drew, Drewson of 43 wants me to talk about vacation spots. Where, where I like to go on vacation, what I like to do. And when I think of vacation, I think on the beach, in the sun. Oh my goodness, another dead deer. Man, it is like, it is finally warm outside. I know I was, I know I was talking about the weather, how cold it was, but man, it's starting to get warm out, and I love it. But it looks like the deer are out, and this is just crazy. That Those are two fresh deer. And that's a sad thing for you animal lovers out there. Uh, but yeah, I love going to the beach. And some of my some of my fondest memories are with being with my family on the beach, just relaxing, laying out in the sun, throwing the frisbee, getting in the water. Um, we've gone to some different resorts in, in Mexico where you could just there's like different buffet things you can go to, just walk in, get whatever you want, all inclusive. Like that's the way to do it. That is the uh, oh. Man, I want to do that now. <laughs> um, I did a cruise one time. That was pretty awesome, too. But, yeah, maybe I'll do another cruise sometime. So those are probably my favorite vacation things to do. One of my new favorite things to do on vacation is go to PAX with Schism. <laughs> uh, no, that was a lot of fun. So I think these convention things, I, I think I love them because with, with the video game entertainment convention things, you know, you get to hang out with other YouTube people and you just get to go to a place where there's a lot of people with similar interests and you get to see some cool stuff before it comes out. I just love it. So I don't know if that's considered vacation, but it was for me and it's fun. I'm looking forward to my con. Um, what do we have next? We got Lori Shillings, who wanted to know, um, what's up with Hermitcraft, and will we be bringing on any more new people now that she said, uh, the old timers, in quotations, are going to be leaving, and... I wouldn't say they're leaving necessarily. I think the way Generic B worded it is they're not going to be doing a vanilla LP anymore. And basically what that means is they're not going to be putting up videos on the vanilla Hermitcraft server. And the way I take it is, as of right now, horses are coming. Like, there's so much you can do. Like, I've been waiting for horses for forever. I've always been asking for them. We finally got them. I'm excited. But Minecraft, it's something that, you know, it's constantly being improved and stuff is being added. So, I'm not going to say anyone's going to come back to it. But if it were me leaving after being burned out, like, I'd come back to it. Minecraft's fun. <laughs> but I can't say people are leaving Hermitcraft. Like, 
Hermitcraft, we kind of talked about it, and we look at it as a group of people. And, you know, Hermitcraft consists of, you know, mainly Generic B who designed this, who came up with the server. But you got Biffa, Zuma, um, you know, Joe Hills, King Daddy DMAC, Joostra, Corrales. You know, just tons of people. Aurelian, Schism and Me, Joostra, my brother's even on there. But, um, Hermitcraft just basically consists of these people, and whether or not we're playing Minecraft doesn't mean that, you know, we're not on the Hermitcraft group. So what I think we're going to be doing is playing, you know, different games together sometimes, you know, doing PvP stuff, and anyway, all that to say, I can't say people are leaving, and I don't know if some people are going to be coming back to the vanilla server, but anyway, are people going to be added? I don't know. We kind of tossed around the idea, and I'm not sure if we're going to be adding a lot of people to the server, but, you know, it's, you know, it's not, like, closed or anything to, uh, whatever the number is right now, so we'll be expanding at some point, I'm sure, but, um, you know, as a result of people not doing the vanilla, I don't think we're going to be, you know, adding a lot of people immediately, but at some point, it's got to happen. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I hope that, I hope that answered your question, and it's, you know, there isn't an exact answer, it's kind of up in the air. But we got to finish with Elise, who wants to know if I have a bucket list, and if so, what's something on there? You know, I've never, I've never thought about it. I don't really have a bucket list. And I was just thinking, man, what, what are some things I want to do? Like, I've never really wanted to skydive or, you know, do crazy adventure stuff like that, bungee jumping, that kind of stuff. But for me, when I think of things I want to do before I die, a lot of it is creative things, like getting, becoming good and proficient at things like I that's something I just love like I got really obsessed with music for a while and drawing and you know different sports or different hobbies like even pool I was really into pool for a while ping pong like I think I just get into stuff and I want to be really good at it and you know, music is one of those things where I was like, where I was like, you know what, I could do this for the rest of my life um, as a hobby and just you know continue to get better and better at it. And now this YouTube thing is a new thing, and you know all the all the different design aspects and and motion graphics you can incorporate into it. Like, I love that stuff. So. As far as bucket lists, you know, I, there's just certain things I want to just continue getting better at and becoming proficient at. Um, but, and I guess one of the things is, you know, I want to get married and, and uh, you know, have kids. So I guess you could throw that in the list. But anyway, maybe maybe put in the comments what's your what's on your bucket list. If you have one, maybe write it out or just one of your things that you really want to do before you kick that bucket. But anyway, guys, that's the video for today. We're almost at our destination. Oh, man, long video, 14 minutes. Man, oh, man. But like I said, I hope you guys had a good Tuesday. And as always, thank you for joining me on this drive. And I will talk to you later.